baseball fans and welcome we've got baseball on the show it's the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays first pitch coming your way next ready to go now DJ LeMay you to start things off here's a 1-1 to third and it goes just foul. Adam Splendu. Slider got him for strike three. It's Aaron Judge now. That's off the mark. And now three and a one. Three balls, one strike. One down, base is empty. And Judge spoils that one. The pitch. Hey. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now it's Juan Soto. Two outs. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Two down, nobody on. Fouls one off. Two and two. And he grounds one to the right side. And that's a base hit. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot a three or four knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Here's Stanton now. In the air, right field. Springer there makes the catch, and they take care of Stanton for the out. And that'll do it. Here's George Springer to start it off. For the, the right fielder. That misses the zone. And that's ball two. Fall off foul. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Rodon ready. Here it comes. And there's ball, ball four. four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Will Bichette up to the dish. Check swing. Did he go? <laughs> yes, he did. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over That's top good. of the curveball. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Well struck left field. Verdugo ranging back. Grabs it right up against the wall. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get that back to the good. track right away. That's turned his back good. on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Rodon fires. That one is absolutely belted. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Set for the start of the inning. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. Kicks and fires. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. And he deals. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Here's Glaber Torres. Right-hander kicks, deals. So, a foul ball makes it one and two.
That's the third Biggio. And oh. Labor Torres retired. Here's Alex Verdugo. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Swings and chases a low one there. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded. Barsho on the move. We'll get to this one. It drops foul. Two outs. And another ball. Bounced out to short. Bichette zips it to He's first. Out. And Verdugo is set down. And the Yanks go quietly. Bottom of the second. Gavin Biggio up to the plate. So you, this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses. And it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose father has also played the majors. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away. Now it's the second baseman. One down, base is empty. Hard hit, left side. Whips it to first. And that quickly, two away. And now it's Dalton Varsha. Two down, nobody on. Two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Shortstop takes a ball. <laughs> Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And here's the rookie catcher, Austin Wells. Here's a 1 1. Now a blooper back behind first. And foul ball. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Varsho under it. Two down. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's DJ LeMayhew. The back. Top the of the third, no score. And there's a ball. That's in there. And it's two and two. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Swing and a miss struck him out. Back now in Toronto. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. Here's a one-two. And Two another ball. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. One down, base is empty. To the right side. Throw on to Rizzo. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And now George Springer. Ball to strike. The pitch. And another ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Got 
right by him for the K. And we're back as we go to the top of the fourth. Stepping in the long ball threat, Aaron Judge. And a pitch. And downstairs. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Just missing there. It's two and two. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. He powers that one out of here. And that's how they take the lead. It's 2-0. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it 1-2. and two. The pitch. That's a little bit low. Three. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Anthony Rizzo. One down, base is empty. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. All two. Next offering is downstairs. It's a good take. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Still only one out here in the inning. pitch battling here as he fouls it away we wouldn't chase okay. that time hit hard on the ground is short to first but it pulls him off the bag Labor Torres up to hit. Rizzo leads off first with one away. Runner on the goal. And a foul ball left side. Take by Torres. Fights it off. He'll see another. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Big stock center field. Rizzo around second. To third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Two on, one out. And he hits a ground ball right side, and he grabs it in foul ground. In the dirt, now two and two. On the ground, could be two. To second for one. And that's two.
Back here at Rogers Center, there's the shortstop at the play, Bobashev. The one two. The yeah, shortstop a... takes a ball. Swing and he breaks his bat. Rizzo. And he takes it himself for the out. Vladimir Guerrero yeah, Jr. now. The lefty fires. And now two and two. a little bit high. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no Go strikes, Go but Go now at least he gets a fresh Go start Go against Go a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. The 1-1. One -one. Runner on the goal. Now it's Belton. Deep to left. Way out of here. It's 2-2. Two -two. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Two and one now. Ball three. And there's a foul ball. Right side. Soto really on his horse for it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Now Here's the second baseman. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Hit in the air, right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that extends the inning. The left fielder, number 25. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsha. Rodon sets and deals. Two runs across in the inning. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that one fouled off. The pitch stays alive. Kicks and deals. Out towards left center. That one gets down for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now that the catch pick. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. Next pitch is outside. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And he pumps it a strike. comes a pitch that ball is foul and the pressure is building high in the air out to right he's got it and that'll end the inning We go to the top of the fifth, and stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. And the righty deals. 
Swing and a foul straight back. Righty to the plate. Line and a base hit into right. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Man, those are the types yeah, yeah, of hits where you don't feel yeah, yeah, yeah. any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Such a good feeling. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make a pay. Now here is Austin Wells. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. I can watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. And a count one and two. First and second here, no outs. And he's swinging a miss. Down on strikes. And that is a big first out. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Aaron, hey, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Next oh, offering upstairs. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two on, one out. And Here another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Juan Soto down. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Left-hand hitter waits. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. And we're at the top of the fifth. Two outs. And that's a strikeout looking. Huge call third strike against a big bat to end the inning. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Luke Weaver. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Here's Kiermaier now. Can we talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most right through there for a strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball That's comes right. off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Ground ball right side. Rizzo oh. steps on the bag, and the leadoff man set down, and they're half the bit. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Here's a 1 1. On the ground to the left. LeMayhew gets it to first. Two up, two down. Lobeshek next up for the Blue Jays. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. Right-handed reliever. That's Bolton. That one catches the zone, and that is strike two. In the air, left field. Verdugo ranging after it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Mitch White. Your attention, please. Now passing for the Blue Jays. Number 45, Mitch White. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. And 
And a foul ball. And a one two again. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. So he blasts one out the other way. It's 3 2. And next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. Swing and a miss. And it's 1 and 2. Nobody on, nobody out, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the home run. Here comes Gleyber Torres. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Biggio sends it to first. And Glaber Torres retired. And up next for New York, Alex Verdugo. Popped in the air, left field. Varsho makes the grab on the run. Now in Toronto, and now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that's outside, and it's two and one. And it's way to miss. They got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Righty delivers. Just off the inside edge. We don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. That's towards center. And he pulls up on it. And that's a hit. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. That's so impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, Good, quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it. Just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. So now Turner in on that right side. Hey. Got him swinging. Pitch and change here. Victor Gonzalez. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. So up next for Toronto, Gavin Biggio. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And a swing and a miss. Two strikes. With the tying run on at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. And another ball. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now it's the second baseman. Two outs. Not even close there. And the count two and one. That one down the line, inning over. I don't wear no cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a clean house. Do you think that's just a statement? We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. And a 1-1. 
The shortstop That's takes the ball. You know, these Yankees, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat, and that's what this offense has been doing so far today. This one high in the air to left center. Varsho moving under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Now that and stepping in for the Yankees, Austin Wells. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. A little bit high. Two balls, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Next offering is foul back. Up the middle, Bichette. Tosses to first, two out. Here is Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Whoa. Next pitch is downstairs. Wells on third with two out. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Runner from third into score. 4 2 now. Got the job done no, to put him up by two. Right Timing right. on the swing was good. Now to the bullpen for the Jays, Henesis Cabrera. And they felt it was time to bring on a left handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing team did that to me. Here's Juan Soto. And the pitch. Just no, missed. Good. One run across in the frame so far here in the top half of inning number seven. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Judge around second. Coming home. The relay throw. Safe. No, Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Kiermaier moving under it. He's there. He's got it. And that's the third out. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tommy Canely. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the goal. Number 41, Tommy Canely. So digging in, don't hold our show. No left field. And the right hander deals. That's in there. And a count one and two. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. One and two now. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Yeah. Just a solid yeah. swing yeah. right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now at the plate, Alejandro Kirk. 
But when the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the oh. ground and they can roll him up for two. Yankees up by three. Here at the bottom of the seven. And a good eye there. there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Now Next to hit, Kevin Kiermaier. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a foul ball. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite. Torres to first, and now two gone. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition. He tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play. Have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Jonathan Loisica comes on now. And the batter is George Springer. Barsho stands at second with two gone. Up the middle. Oh, what a stop. From his knees, the throw. And very nicely done for the out. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the eighth. Labor Torres up to the plate. Swing and a miss. As he was up front that time. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Ground ball up the middle. And that one handled. Jump throw across his body. One up, one down. So up next, Alex Verdugo. Alex. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss. Two and two. That one out to right. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two down. Anthony Volpe digs in now. Anthony Volpe. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The pitch. And they'll do it again. Two outs, base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. And down on strikes he goes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. In the Ready for the bottom of the game. And now for the Jays. Bobachet. Kicks and fires. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. The other way. And he hops over the wall for an automatic double. And now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And it's second. This to third. On to first. And Guerrero is set down. Justin Turner now. At the belt and fires. Off the mark there. And that's ball three. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Mark Grounder into the outfield for a knock. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. 
It's off wide. The run comes in, and it's now a two-run game. Picks himself up an RBI. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Judge is under it. Puts it away for the out. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Clay Holmes. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now Here's the second baseman. Out to short, Volpe. They get the force, and that is that. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Eric Swanson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. That one ripped. And a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up. Went the and there he goes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Wells gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Biggio drifts towards it. Makes the grab. And there's one down. Aaron Judge at the plate. The center fielder, number 99. Aaron. Man at first, one away. Ball and now he's Jeff falling Scott. behind Judge. They Ball tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to check. Judge rips that one. And it bangs off the foul pole home run. And they boost their lead. It's 7 3. Juan Soto getting ready to hit. One down, base is empty. Swing and a laser off the bat. This looks like extra bases. And now let's see if he goes for it. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that. Chad Green ready to go. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. So, man aboard, Giancarlo Stanton stepping in now for the Yankees. And here it comes. That one's in there. Now one and two. One out and a runner at second. Here at the top of the ninth. Nope. And that's off that's inside. the inside edge. And the count is even two and two. Out towards right center field. And he'll play it on a bounce. Springer returns it to the infield. Lead runner puts the brakes on, so now it's runners at first and third. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Two on, one out. Yeah. Oh boy, that was the push. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. So now three and two. Bounds it back with two strikes. It's 
Boils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast. It's their second home run of the inning, and they throw three on the board. It's 10-3. Here is Glaber Torres. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Comes on it, misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The 1-1. One -one. That one the other way. Nice grab. Here at Rogers Center, bottom of the ninth, and now for the Jays, Dalton Varsha. The pitch. This one rip, but foul to the right. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Foul off to the right side keeps the AB going. The pitch. Ball, that's it. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Two two. And right back to the mound. Slings He's to first. Out. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get the out. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Out to short. Volpe throws to first in time. Now only now one I'm out remaining. So two down yeah, now, and here is Kiermaier. Kevin Kiermeyer. And another ball. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Next ball, one three. misses. Now three and three one. Ball, one strike. Two outs. In the air, out towards left center. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees take this one in a blowout. Well, Summit from the bullpen had to come in, get a big out, and then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the final three outs of this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job to get the save and secure the win for his team. Final score here today, 10-3 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chum. Thanks for joining us. I don't want all that new, 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 new,